looks like their little boxes are there so i'm assuming yeah there we go thanks mk so folks this is rascus and i'm gonna hate to see him go too Mwah. he was found um, by one of dr pettigrew's uh, vet techs she was pulling up in the driveway and he was there at the end of the driveway by the garbage can all by himself and at that time he only weighed one pound so um he we put him down i believe it was at five weeks and he arrived here may 11th so he hasn't been here very long but you know it feels like he's been here for a, a long long time because he's just fit right in so yesterday we did do his neuter just a tiny bit early he was 115 i think he was one shy one ounce shy of two but in his case um he well had the parts if you know what i mean and um they were very prominent he says but i was just a little baby how could they be so prominent so he's right he was very ready to go dr darcy said yeah let's do them and his mama to be is very very excited to get him so he is going to stay in defiance he's going to be a defiant son and i got a feeling we'll probably see him again too because um he will be needing another vaccine and we can finish that up for them he's going to go into a home with no other oops let me double check that my paper's in the way no other pets so he's going to be spoiled rotten rottener than rotten she also the mom also lives with her mom and uh, they're so excited about about getting him yeah him had him had big tic tacs for no bigger than he is he says oh quit talking about me like that so Raskus came from Dr. P's, and they had initially went ahead and done the um, feline leukemia FIB test for us, and they also ran a fecal with a Giardia test for us ahead of time, and that was also negative. So he's doing really good. All right, we're going to put him back in his bed and let him go nappy time. <laughs> he was sleeping when we picked him up. Yeah. <laughs> Well, the whole world, it won't tell anybody, right, Billy? All right. Say bye. I'm going to go to my new home. We have one more thing to do for you, though. We have to double-check your ears. Okay. And then we'll let them sleep. <laughs> Come on, babe. Tim's very sleepy, Mary. I'm going to do his ears and then give them back to you to put him back in his... Do you know that side? I found out that one of Dr. Pettigrew's... Um, Receptionist uh -huh. and I had worked together about 30 years ago. Where? Dawn. Oh, Dawn, really? Yes. She and I worked together back, oh, like I said, about 30, maybe even 35 years ago at a Community Action. Really? Yeah. Dawn Shoemaker. I don't no, know. No, no, uh uh. Not Dawn Shoemaker. Dawn Shoemaker's not even a, around here, I don't believe anymore. Around here. No, he needs to go back in his nappy spot. In the sunshine, yeah. In the, yep. In the sunshine.